What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dominic Barbado, author of Vending Revolution, how to start a growing vending business at any age. I'm super excited for you guys to be here on this channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dominic. I'm a 19 time author, vending business owner, and passive income person, I guess. I like to make passive income online. So if you wanna learn different ways to make passive income, go check out the other videos on this channel. But hopping right into this video, for the more specific nitty gritty of it, we're gonna talk about the best locations that you need for your vending machine business. All right, welcome, welcome. Super excited for all the new subscribers. Everyone's been helping me grow every single day. Love YouTube, keeps me excited, keeps me going to make more awesome videos for this channel. In this video, I think it's one of the best videos that you probably don't see on other channels on the internet in the vending niche, but I'm going to give you five of the best places to put your vending machines for your vending machine business. And also, if no one's ever told you for the vending machine business, you need locations. This is a location business and these five places that I'm about to tell you probably are going to be the best places that you're gonna to wanna to put your machines because they are tried and true spots for vending machines. And that's just that. Not saying that in a way where I really know, but if you ask other vendors, these are probably the five best places that you could put vending machines, that you could start making a lot of money instead of putting it at some random spot that you think it's gonna make money, but you actually don't know if it's gonna make money. Yes, sometimes it does vary depending on where you are in the United States, if these locations will work for you and your business. But for the most part, if you have these places around you in your location where you wanna put vending machines, I'm sure you're gonna be pretty successful. But of course, read the disclaimer below this video so you know I am not always sure and all the things mentioned in this video are for entertainment purposes. I have to say that now, I, I put a disclaimer just in case you know someone out there wants to say, oh, let me sue this guy because he claims he knows the best locations. But I do, so yeah, read that disclaimer though. All right, so hopping right into it without that long intro, I'm gonna give you five of the best spots, um, two for bulk, two for full line, and then the last one, I mean, it could work for either, honestly, if you uh, talk to the right person. So the first place that you're going to wanna put vending machines, honor boxes, ATMs, arcade machines, any machine like that is a pizza shop. If you have pizzerias in your area and they don't have vending machines, I don't know what you're doing because you need to put a vending machine in there. This is one of the best spots um, to put a bulk vending machine, ATM, arcade machine, anything like that. They really can work in these type of places. Who doesn't love pizza? Lots of foot traffic in most pizzerias. So that is number one. That's the first um, location that you should put a business, that you should start your business. Second is a ice cream parlor. This one is an awesome, awesome spot to put a vending machine if you have an ice cream parlor or something similar of that where people are sitting or buying some type of food. Um, not necessarily a restaurant because restaurants are very targeted in this business, but an ice cream parlor, good for any type of machine as well. So you could check those out, search in your area. If you have any ice cream parlors, that's my tip to you. That's the second spot. Third spot, which I also think do very well for all types of machines are mini golf places. So places where people go to play mini golf and like the putting type of thing, um, those are good locations to have a bulk machine, full line machine, arcade machines, any type of machines, they're going to do well there. They have foot traffic, it's a mini golf spot. Obviously, if they don't have foot traffic and you know that, don't just place it there and then blame me for you not making any money. They, you, you obviously still need to evaluate all of these places if they do have foot traffic, but it's pretty easy to tell. Um, and it, worst comes to worst, you place it and don't make that much money, but you're still gonna make money, I guarantee that. Um, so then the fourth place that I think that you could place any type of machine possible, just depending on your area and how it works for you, um, is a barbershop. So barbershops are great places to put vending machines, any types of machines, depending on the size and you know what they wanna do and how you wanna work with them. But barbershops are a great location for you know regular machines, honor boxes, anything like that. Um, all these locations work pretty much for any vending machine possible. So if you are starting your vending business and you're just seeing this video, pretty much any of these locations can work for any type of machine that you're um, looking to start. Also, I do have my own honor box company. If you don't know what an honor box is, quick little self-promotion here. You could go to the link in the description below, learn a little bit about what an honor box is and how you could start your vending business with less than $50. Um, I think it's super awesome. So yeah, going into our last location, which 
drum roll. Just, I don't, that's not even a drum roll. A little drum roll for the last spot. Um, and this can also work for any single, any vending machine, even honor boxes and stuff like that. And let me peek at my sheet here. Is a auto body shop. So auto body shops are great for any type of vending uh, machine, seriously any type, uh, maybe not ATMs because I'm pretty sure they usually accept card and those types of purchases are usually pretty expensive. Um, so it all depends, but auto bodies are our last one. Place any machine there besides ATMs, I think they would do well. Even like a crane machine, it might do okay. Those might not be the perfect spot, but for your regular bulk machines, honor boxes or full line vending machines, these are gonna be good spots. Obviously ask the question, how many employees do you have? Also, leave a comment down below. I'm gonna be giving away one of my books in this video, essentially. I don't know how to make this work, but I have one of my books right here. Everyone who wants to win this book, comment down below. I want the Vending Revolution book, and then write something good about this video that you learned, I guess. Um, but I will give this away to someone in the United States. Just write down below that you want the book, and I'll ship it to you completely free, and you can learn how to start your own vending business if you want to. Um, and I'm super excited about that. If you haven't already though, also join our Facebook group, um, Vending Revolution on Facebook, also Charity Honor Box Vending and Honor Box Vending. All of those groups are great groups when starting your vending business and not knowing which direction to go. I was in a lot of people's shoes who are starting a vending business and most people watching these videos are in the midst of or are starting a vending business. So a lot of these groups really help me more now. Um, and I wish I had these six years ago, to be honest. So. With that, I am excited for everyone on this channel. Thank you all for liking this video. And if you haven't liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate all your support. And uh, yeah, hope to see you guys in another video on this channel here soon. Peace. Uh -huh.